Saturday morning, eight-year-old Samantha woke up to a big surprise. When did you build that? She asked her little brother. What? What? Roger mumbled, still half asleep. Roger opened his eyes. He saw a rainbow of colors standing in the middle of the room. It looked like a stretched-out pyramid. Slow down! Samantha shouted. What? What is it? Roger asked. I think it's the Eiffel Tower. Samantha answered as she looked toward the dresser, then back at the Tower of Blocks. But where did it come from? Hello, down here. Across the room, a bright red block jumped up and down and waved its arms. Samantha's heart was racing. What? What? Who are you? My name is Lloyd. Wow, you can talk, Roger said. Of course, I was top of my class at Block University. Samantha tried to put on a brave face. What? What, what, what are you doing here? Seriously, Lloyd blurted out. He thought about all the good times he'd spend with the children. Do you even remember the last time you played with us? They didn't. It had been a whole year. For the past 365 days, Lloyd and the other blocks thought of ways to get the kids' attention. Mission to get the kids' attention. Hide toys. Check. Break electronics. Check. Tickle feet. Check. Sing show tunes. Check. Build epic model. Hmm. The blocks didn't know what model they would build or where they would find it. But Lloyd had a plan. The night before your mom's last business trip, a couple of us kinda, mighta, sorta sneaked into her suitcase. And we boarded the plane to France. Then, in France, we kinda, mighta, sorta sneaked out of the hotel to explore Paris. There we found the perfect model to build for you. The Eiffel Tower. Roger elbowed past his sister to get a better view. Whoa! He screamed, tripping and falling toward Lloyd. Lloyd hopped out of the way. Luckily, he had been a champion long jumper at Block University. Samantha gasped. <gasps> She gasped when Roger's arm scraped the top of the Eiffel Tower. Don't worry, guys. My friends and I built that tower, and we are... Crash! Bang! The tower fell down. Experts? Lloyd was horrified and started walking away. He now feared Samantha and Roger would never play with him or his friends again. Wait! Roger yelled. Can you help us build it again? All right, Blocks! You heard the boy! Lloyd said, beaming. He began stomping and clapping. On command, an army of Blocks marched out of the toy box. This is my friend Sonia. Lloyd said, pointing at the purple block leading the way. Lloyd met Sonia at Block University. Now she is the best building block engineer in France. She travelled back from Paris to help her friend. Bonjour, Sonia said. The children watched as Sonia shouted instructions and blocks scampered across the room. In minutes... The Eiffel Tower was rebuilt. Lloyd easily leaped to the top and explained that the real tower stood over 1,000 feet tall. 
It's taller than sixty giraffes, he said. Sonia quickly reminded Lloyd that the giant tower's height changes from the hottest days of summer to the coldest days of winter. No way! Roger cried. How can it grow or shrink if it's not alive? Thermal expansion, Sonia said. That sounds complicated, but it just means that some objects change size when the temperature changes. It happens to bridges and railroad tracks too. Lloyd asked Roger to hold out his hand. You're not scary at all, Samantha said. You're actually cute, and a bit of a show off. Lloyd blushed. You're really light too, Roger added. That's a wonderful observation, Sonia said. We're made of plastic, which weighs very little. The real Eiffel Tower is made of iron and weighs more than one thousand elephants. Confused, Samantha asked how such an enormous tower didn't collapse or get blown over by the wind. Easy, Lloyd said. In Paris, Sonia taught us all about triangles. Triangles? Roger asked. We,、oui, Sonia replied. Triangles are the superheroes of shapes. They're strong, and when they're open in the middle, the wind can pass through them. Roger and Samantha thought about all the places they'd seen triangles. They wondered if the fort they built in the backyard would still be standing if they had used triangles. Samantha, Roger, adults. A wave of blocks swept across the floor. The Eiffel Tower vanished. Urwa, Sonia said, just before the door opened. Pancakes will be ready in a minute. When the coast was clear, the children walked over to the toy box. Samantha opened the lid and whispered, "Hey, Lloyd, Sonia, our mom is going to India next month." The blocks looked at each other and smiled. The end.